My name is Junyong Park, and this is my path to math. The topic that I have been mostly thinking about now is the threshold phenomena of random discrete structures. So here, random means each time you do this experiment, you construct a different network. And one question that I study is, what's the typical structure of this random network? When I was in middle school, I was not a very good math student. But then I thought maybe I can change the way I study mathematics. And so I bought a workbook. And surprisingly, it worked well. So when I was in high school, I liked math. So I was just vaguely thinking that I, it would be good if I can do something related to math as my job. But I was a first generation college student. So nobody around me actually knew what a mathematician does or even what people do with mathematics. So I taught mathematics in secondary schools for seven years. So my husband got a job in the U.S., so I came to the U.S. following him, and I had plenty of time, and I wanted to find a way to use them in a meaningful way. So I thought maybe it's a good idea to study math in a more serious way. And luckily, I got an admission from Rutgers. Okay, so that's how I entered a math PhD program. There was a big obstacle in studying mathematics or pursuing my career in mathematics, which was me, myself. Because, you know, I, I just couldn't stop thinking that, oh, I'm too old and I started too late, or I didn't learn enough in amount of mathematics in college. To me, I think who made me be here is my academic advisor, Jeff Kahn. I often felt very much frustrated because I felt like I was just too slow. And I expressed my concern to him and he told me this. It's good to be quick, but it's more important to be deep. And somehow that sentence shook my heart. And I think that was the moment that I thought, oh, I really want to be a deep mathematician. After that, I became more and more serious about math. Yeah, I think role models is really important for people. I really wasn't aware of any successful female mathematicians when I was in high school. I wish I had a role model when I was much younger. Hopefully, maybe I can inspire somebody, some female students, to join the path in math.